Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I did this very smoky winged out look. I'm really loving the smoky winged out look at the moment as you can tell because I've got another tutorial on my channel recently that I did a smoky winged out look. Um, I also used individual lashes and I love the effect that individual lashes give. It just looks like you've got loads of lashes on but it doesn't look too heavy or fake. So I show you how to apply those in this video as well. Um, I also went for a flawless glowy sort of look on my face which I usually do anyway and a bold lip. So if you want to know how I achieve this look then please keep on watching. I'm using Benefit's Matte Rescue as my primer today. For foundation today, I'm using Giorgio Armani's Luminous Silk Foundation. This is in the color 6. I'm using a beauty blender to dab it all over the face. This will create a very flawless finish. So while the foundation is setting on the skin, I'm going to go in and do my brows and I'm using Browsings in Medium. This is by Benefit. I'm also brushing out my brows with the Sigma Brow and Lash E80 brush and I'll be using a angled brow E75 by Sigma to fill them in. I first take the brow gel and fill in the brow as well as trace the shape of the brow that I want to create. Once you've got the shape of your brow, I want to fill it in further with the powder and the powder just sticks to the gel. Once you've filled your brows in, you want to brush them out with the same brow and lash brush by Sigma and just brush the hairs upwards. The finishing touch that I've been loving right now is adding the Gimme Brow by Benefit on top. I use the medium deep colour and this just adds volume because it's a fibre gel. So it's going to add volume and look like there's more hairs. Alright, just taking a tiny bit of scotch tape, I'm going to place it on the outer wing of my eye and this will create a very sharp winged line. You want to match the tape to the line of your brow and this will ensure that it's in the right place. Using MAC Soft Ochre as a eyeshadow base and I'm using the Soft Definer 227 brush by Zoeva. I'm doing the lightest coat of the paint pot only because I just want to get rid of the colour of my eyelids and the veins. I don't really want it to be a thick coat of eyeshadow base. If it's really thick on the eyelid it will crease and it also will be a little bit cakey so you won't get that smooth blend of colour. I'm going to be using the Zoeva Warm Spectrum Palette and before I apply any shadow I'm going to use a light shadow down here, this one, and just apply a light wash all over the eyelid. This will ensure that all the shadows after will really blend out beautifully. Now I'm taking this colour here in the palette and I'm going to apply this all over the lid and up into the crease. I'm using a Zoeva crease brush. This is the number 228. Then mixing these two colors here, so this dark chocolate shade and this reddish shade, I'm going to concentrate that in the crease. I'm using the same 228 brush to do this. Now 
Now taking the black shadow, I'm going to line my lash line and also slightly wing it out. To do this, I'm using a Luxe Petite Pencil 240 brush by Zoeva. Once you have a good amount of the black eyeshadow on your lash line, you want to take a larger pencil E30 Sigma brush and blend this out further so there's no harsh lines. Next I'm curling my lashes with Shiramura's S Curler. I love this curler so much. It just really gets into the lash line and make the lashes really curled. Once I have my lashes curled, I'm using the Their Real Tinted Primer by Benefit. I'm feeling like this look would really go well with some individual lashes. So I'm going to use the long and medium lashes by Ardell and these are the knot free ones. I like the knot free ones because they don't have a little like dot at the end of them um, and they look much more natural than the ones with a knot on the end. So what I do is because I've got a black lash line I'm going to use a black glue and this will ensure that the glue doesn't show so it looks very natural as well and then what I do is just I take a little something to put the glue on this is just the package of the lashes that they came in and I just create a little pool of glue for the lashes to dip into and this will just help you apply lashes individual lashes so much quicker because you can just dot them in the glue very easily. So I'm just taking one of the long ones, dotting it in the glue and I'm using tweezers to do this. It doesn't need much um, drying time because this glue dries pretty quick and once it's on the lash line it dries on there. And then I just place it on the lash line. I'm going to place this on the outer corner. And then I take a medium one, do the same, dip it in the glue using tweezers and I'm going to place that right next to it. And then you just repeat that process. So long one, lash glue onto my lash line. You want to make sure you get it as close to the lash line as possible. Of course you can apply the lashes in any sequence you want. I am just applying them long, medium, long, medium, long, medium until I get to about halfway across my eye and then in the inner corner I just leave them as medium because the Ardell longs are quite long. Um, so yeah, you can apply them in any pattern you want. I'm just applying them long medium because it creates a little bit of a wispy look um, but you can do anything seriously that's why I love individual lashes it's because you can create your own lash pattern and they look stunning very very natural I mean not natural but they look much more natural on the eye than strip lashes once the glue has dried, you want to curl them with your normal lashes um, and I'm just using the S curler to do this. So that's the eye that I curled with the S curler after I applied the lashes and that's just normal individual lashes. See how much more awake and lifted this eye looks. So much better. To finish them off, I like to apply a mascara and this is just Their Real by Benefit. So when applying mascara to false lashes, I like to get the mascara just at the base, not at the end of the lashes. So I just look down in a mirror 
and just lightly push the mascara brush to the root of the lash. I'm going to lightly highlight with LA Girls Pro Conceal in Light Ivory. I'm highlighting under the eyes, down the nose, the cupid's bow and a little bit on the middle of the chin. And I'm lightly contouring with the colour Fawn. I'm contouring along my hairline, under my cheekbones, under my lips, on the sides of my top lip and down the sides of my nose. I'm taking the Artiste Oval 6 brush to blend it out. I'm switching to an Oval 4 brush for the smaller parts of my face. I'm just going to use a little bit of Agent Zero from Benefit just to pat that under the eyes and around the face that I tend to get oily. I'm taking the big hula brush and my hula bronzer and I'm going to bronze up the face. Time for highlight and I'm using, I just can't get over this powder at the moment, like I've had it for ages but I've just rekindled my love for it. It's the Highlight 01 by Laura Mercier. It just gives such a gorgeous pearly creamy glow, like it's just so beautiful. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use that again today. I'm just using it with a Morphe M441 brush. I like using it with a smaller brush because you can concentrate the glow to the specific area that you want. I'm applying this to the tops of my cheekbones, the sides of my forehead, the brow bone, the inner corners of the eye and the tip of the nose and between the eyes on the nose bridge. And now of course brushing off the loose powder with my favourite other powder the Light Reflecting Setting Powder by NARS. Absolutely love this right now. So to finish off the eyes, I'm using Nutmeg Eyeliner Pencil by Sigma and I'm just applying this to the waterline. To finish off the eyes, I'm just going to apply mascara to the lower lash line. Um, I'm going to keep this look a little bit youthful and not apply eyeshadow underneath. This is just going to keep the look very clean and crisp, looking fresh. For lips, I'm going to use Max Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color, and this is 
the color feels so grand I feel like going bold today so let's do it I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial today and learned something new from the techniques that I used. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more tutorials like this one.